Retirement planning is something people should start at least in their early 30s. And it's crucial to start your financial planning for your retirement early. But a big question is, how much should I start saving today, which will be sufficient enough for my whole retirement? That's what we are going to find out in today's video. Understanding how much you should save and when to start saving will help you achieve FIRE, which is an acronym for Financial Independence Retire Early. Okay, so the big question is, when I retire, how much money will I need to have saved? This depends on a lot of factors. First, the big one. How much are you going to spend in a year after you retire? This can vary a lot. You can be thrifty or you can tour the world lavishly. It's up to you. But start with an estimate of how much you will need per year. Second, for how many years will we need our retirement funds? This is tricky. We cannot guess our lifespan. Just go with an approximation. Let's say as an example, I need $75,000 per year after I retire. And I expect to need my retirement funds from 60 till I'm 90, which is for 30 years. Isn't it a simple math to just multiply them and know how much I'll need to begin retirement? In this case, $75,000 multiplied by 30 years, which is $2.25 million. No. We didn't consider an important factor in this, which is inflation. What cost $100 30 years back now costs $242 and will cost $589 30 years from now. So your expenses will increase every year and you cannot expect to spend $75,000 every year. So I now have to take inflation into account and see how much I'll need for each year and sum it up. In our example, we would need $3.6 million approximately for 30 years. This is much higher than what we estimated, right? This is again 3% inflation. It might change in the next 30 years. Cool. With inflation, I figured out I need $3.6 million for my entire retirement period. Should I start saving $3.6 million now? Not yet. There is one more factor which we missed out. We can invest our savings and our investments will grow along during our retirement. Though I need $3.6 million in total, I don't need that much money in the beginning since my investment will bring in some cash as well. So how much do I actually need? That's where 4% rule and 25x rule helps us to easily figure out how much money I need to begin my retirement. Let's begin with the 4% rule. What the 4% rule says is that if you start taking 4% of your entire savings in the first year of your retirement, your savings will be sufficient for at least 30 years, inflation and investment returns included. In the second year, you can withdraw your first year withdrawal money plus inflation. Again, an example will help us here. Let's say you have saved $100,000 for retirement and now you're 60. You need money for the next 30 years from this savings. What the 4% rule says is that you can withdraw 4% of $100,000 in the first year, which is $4,000, and you should be good for 30 years. In the second year, you can withdraw $4,000 plus inflation, which is $4,120, and then $4,240 in the third year and so on. Easy way to figure out how much I should spend and not exhaust out of my savings, right? It gives a very simple formula to begin thinking about our retirement. Okay, there's one more caveat. The 4% rule simply says that out of our saved money, withdraw 4% the first year for your savings to last for 30 years. But it does not tell me how much money I need to have saved to lead a comfortable life. In our example, if someone had saved just $100,000, the 4% rule says to withdraw just $4,000 per year. This is incredibly low. And for someone who is in their 30s and planning for their retirement expenses, they need to know how much they should have saved to lead their desired life. That's where 25x rule comes in. This is simply a reciprocal of the 4% rule. Given a certain expense cost for a year, the 25x rule says how much you need to have saved, which will be sufficient for 30 years with inflation and investment returns included. Say you're looking to spend around $75,000 during the first year of your retirement. 
to be able to spend that much every year for 30 years with inflation considered the 25x rule says you need to have saved 25 multiplied by 75000 which is 1.87 million dollars you can withdraw 75000 dollars the first year 78000 dollars the next year and so on for 30 years with your initial 1.87 million dollars invested and you won't run out of money at least for 30 years did you notice something here 4% of 1.87 million is $75,000. That is why 25x rule is the reciprocal of 4% rule. They are one and the same. While 4% rule tells us how much we can spend per year if we need our savings to last for 30 years, the 25x rule tells us how much we should begin with in our savings for us to last 30 years. Quick disclaimer here. The 4% rule and 25x rule came from the works of William Benjamin, a financial advisor in 1994. So the rule is a little outdated now. Some experts suggest we take a more conservative 3% approach now given our inflation rate seems higher or some argue it can be more than 4% with better returns. But nevertheless, this is simply a thumb rule and gives us a good starting point. For someone who is just starting their retirement planning in their late 20s or early 30s, this is the rule of thumb which helps us to get started. I found this spreadsheet from another channel which I found to be really helpful regarding the 4% rule. I'll link it down below for you to check out. You can put in your numbers with estimated inflation and returns too and understand how your retirement savings will last over 30 years or more. Here, for my reference, if I need $80,000 for my first year of retirement, then my total savings when I'm 60 needs to be $2 million. For an average 7% return and 4% inflation, you can see that my savings will last well over 40 years. I cannot stress this enough. Retirement planning needs to happen as early as possible for everyone. Early 20s even. There are tremendous benefits to starting early. In fact, it's more advantageous to start early and save for a few years than to start late and save for the same number of years. I'll talk about the power of compounding and why you need to start investing as early as possible in our next video. So please subscribe to get notified when it's out. Also, show your support by liking this video if you found this useful. See you in the next one. This is Anjana. Bye-bye.